Professor Dane Pamshaw and the director of the Sheffield Institute for Translational Neuroscience at the University of Sheffield. That name is usually shortened to Citran. It's a big long name, but it's important because what we're trying to do in Citran is harness all the exciting developments in neuroscience and translate those into benefits for patients with MND and related disorders in the clinic. Motor neuron disease, um, many people, including doctors, regard it as the worst disease in medicine. The motor neurons are the cells in the nervous system that connect the brain with the muscles and therefore enable the brain to control all movements of the body, including those that control arms and legs, speech and swallowing, and even the breathing muscles. When a person develops motor neuron disease, the motor neurons become injured, the muscles lose their electricity supply, and so the person develops a creeping paralysis that affects all the muscles in the body. So at the end stage of the disease, uh, the person will be locked in with a, an intact mind and intellect into a body that can't move. So the person won't be able to move their arms and legs, won't be able to speak and swallow, uh, and may have difficulty at the end of the illness with their breathing muscles. The factor that makes MND so frightening for people who have it in their families is the speed of change in many cases. Life expectancy will only be two to three years um, from the onset of the first symptom. It's important to note though, and I always tell patients this, that some people defy those average statistics. Professor Stephen Hawking, the famous physicist, is a good example. He's kept the condition at bay for around about 50 years. I was diagnosed with motor neuron disease nearly two years ago under Professor Shaw and, um, at Hallamshire. So I know that this is sort of the centre that does a lot of research and that she was a director here. So I was quite pleased when I found out that she was my clinician and also responsible for sort of research into this, this organisation and the disease. You know, every case of motor neuron disease is a terminal diagnosis and so every time you come here you sort of feel comforted that something's happening behind the scenes. If not, sort of in, you know, I know that it may not make a huge change to me, but for other people coming along behind us, it will. Sometimes they think they're looking for a needle in a haystack, and maybe they are, but you know, it's, we're getting closer. We're really getting closer, and I honestly believe that. So, you know, one day, they'll, they'll crack this nut. I've always said that, they'll, they'll crack it. So, let's hope Pam's in, responsible for that. The vision behind the creation of Citran was to create a world-class research institute in Sheffield that would attract the best clinicians and scientists around the world um, to work on this condition. And what we want to do is try and understand in detail what causes motor neuron injury and then devise better treatments to protect the motor neurons so that we can slow down the rapid progression of the condition and eventually, hopefully, turn it into a disease that is curable. We also in Citran work on other related neurodegenerative diseases. So we have teams that work on Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease, and the childhood form of motor neuron disease known as spinal muscular atrophy. So as we're living to uh, an older age, um, one in four of us who reach the age of 80 or beyond will develop one of these neurodegenerative conditions. I think we're on the brink of being able to develop powerful new treatments um, for these neurodegenerative diseases. We've made great progress, I think, since the Queen opened Citran in November of 2010. Uh, what we're trying to do is tackle these terrible diseases that rob human beings of the functions of their nervous system and their dignity. I hope that before very long, our research teams will be able to make you proud of the time, energy and support that you have given.